kampung ini kudanya punya berlain ya one of the days the flag shall swing up and down left and right one of the days yes namibia will take the place in the free world and they shall be a new generation in the new As we think back and reflect on the road we traveled to freedom as a nation, let us never forget that the struggle for national independence was long, bloody, bitter, and protracted. Indeed, it took commitment and great sacrifices of our people to travel through that journey until we finally achieved our independence in 1990. It goes without saying that on the 4th of May, 1978, the racist South African troops and their puppets attached to Swapo camps, namely Kasinga and Vietnam Shetekar, committing cowardice and barbaric atrocities, murdering mostly innocent and defenseless women and children in cold blood. The 4th of May, around 7.30, I just the time of uh, mo morning parade, we were just uh, going on the parade while we were marching to the parade. So the South African troops, uh, Air Force, came attack. Immediately, the late commander Narikongole, who is that same spot that day in this base where we are standing today. He started to say, down, down, let down, then run away from the base. So we started running away. I didn't know what was going on. I was just wondering, eh, what is it going on? So it, so you mean also planes comes here? So I was just looking at that plane. And yet there were people, I can hear people shouting, you know, take cover. And I didn't also really quite understand what people were saying. So I, and somebody was near me, somebody who was near me, pulled me down to, to take cover. So I took cover because somebody pulled me down. As I was lying down, I saw also, uh, you know, uh, these uh, pieces of uh, the bombs. So one of them came and ran on my, 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 my body, but at least uh, uh, for my lucky, uh, it did not hurt, hurt me. So I was lucky that it, no, it did not hurt me. So I, um, I, I, I lied down, and as I lied down, this uh, thing uh, leant on me, and again I stood up because you know there were people shouting, you know, run now, go what what side, and you know I I was new in the camp and really I was just running, running, you know, uh, following people. Okay. 
people were you no know, were injured people died people you don't know some of the people were just running with uh, even with intestines out i saw one girl who was running holding her in intestines and she ran on top of me also and she was also screaming you know i can see everywhere i look around you know you can see either they they are broken they have got legs or arms broken and you know it's just like it's like, no, I was looking around and I said, oh, maybe it's only me. It seems it's only me who is arrived here. Everybody's like, everybody's dead. Except that one, the one I saw running, except that one I saw running with her, her intestine in, in her hands. So then I decided I have just to leave this place also. Otherwise, I'm also going to, to die. So I jumped out of that, that uh, trench. <laughs> <laughs> Some of our fellow friends died in the spot that day. Well, what we did not know how are those who died that day we came next day tomorrow we come and see our fellow guys that one is you and so especially I can remember one of my classmates from Namibia that time I left in Nangama Namjebo Kachua Kashkambe Namjebo Barandina Namwea and others um, so there were a lot of people. We arrived here, we found all our, all our around just bodies. Just women, women, children, all, all, all kind of, I mean, all age, all when just people are just scattered. Mal body were maltreated to pieces. It was very terrible. Uh, we met one of the staff officer, Mr. Hirundwa. Mr. Hirundwa was a very clever boy. Even his former name is clever boy. He was recording every, every everybody brought to the to the to the to the to the pit or to the grave we invited anyone who know the body name all item found in his body just not in Uh, I spent uh, three, almost two, two nights here, but uh, the situation, because the situation was too tough, we cannot eat, I cannot eat uh, cooking food, we cannot swallow cooking food, because the smelling and the seeing the body is terrible. Like enough, we came with the um, biscuits. I went around and he showed me some stuff where he, they fell, where they fell, especially even in Jonas Aydua, he fell, where he showed me, he just briefing me. Yeah, on the 7th is when a former Secretary of Defense, Peter Nanyemba, and his team arrived. We stay with them, and uh, on the eighth is when I start to get to, to our front. <laughs>
Tanga utaye hita hepe kwa Tata fikiro na umbo Tatipa no maluse no Tatipa ero tate no meme no ya mameme Eriko retula ya no maranda po kwa kosite la There was a lot of conf conf confusion as people ran around pleading to God to save them from mercilessly killings. However, however, <clears throat> the enemy did not stop the killing. The racist South Africa soldiers made out our compatriots without any remorse. Even though we tried to hide in trains, were not spared. They were killed without, with bayonets and head grenades. How grateful this day was to Namibia's freedom fighters in those games. Some of our comrades who were captured were forced to, to load the corpses of the enemy soldiers who were killed by plague combatants. That May 4th, 1978, Cuban and Namibian blood was mixed for the first time in the struggle against the racist South African regime. The Cuban troops managed to get to the camp, but the racists decided to avoid the fight and withdraw to its bases in their helicopters. Everybody. Such heroic act contributed to save the life of the refugees injured and a lot of, of the survivors hidden in the near forest. Kasinga was one of the cruelest actions undertaken by South Africa directed to destabilize the Angolan Revolution, stop the solidarity with the patriots of the Southern Africa and break the resistance of Namibia. The people of Angola, Cuba and Namibia will never forget the resistance against apartheid. The struggle for independence and the solidarity without which the final victory should, would have never been attained. There were was, there was three operations on that day. One operation called the Rain Deer against the Kasinga. The other operation was against the Chetakela. And the other operation was against the two fronts, Northern Front and Northeastern Front. They were all launched at the same time. 
I was at the northeastern front with eu, Comrade Noroeste, and we were all under the attack that same day. That barbaric attack did not spare our friends and comrades. It also took the lives of Cuban international forces and the police. And our goals were heroically rushed to the aid and the rescue of our people. Indeed, this was one of the saddest days in the annals of our protected and bitter history of our resistance against the colonial occupation and apartheid colonialism. Mas a causa da nossa luta, o pai continuou sempre contra a opressão sul-africana ou a do apartheid. We have never gathered here today to pay homage and tribute to supreme sacrifices made by the sons and daughters of the Namibia. Mas também para o sacrifício peso pelos filhos e filhas da Namibia, Angola e Cuba International Forces. Sacrifício filhos e filhas da Namibia. Who lost their lives during the Uvasinga massacre 38 years ago. Peace out. 
mono ihuna kwa kala mo uponge kwa mo uju kwa kwetu vamwe vashala mo vamwe vale mane na mo wo ma pongo se o twa hupula pa kwetu tupandule ni dokta shapo ihuna uyenga kala mleli Jala me konjo Haiwa haikwata hainyangula Comrade Haiwa haikwata hainyangula Haiwa haikwata hainyangula Oi tendo ya topo mi chodate 